Hello everyone and welcome to the next video in AZ300 series. In previous few videos we talked about uh, VPN gateway, site-to-site -site connectivity, VNet-to-VNet -VNet connectivity and the troubleshootings of course. And today we are going to talk about a different kind of connectivity because there are scenarios where customer doesn't wanted their data to go over the internet. Well, it doesn't matter whether it's encrypted or it's IPsec tunnel. They just don't want it to go over the internet for various reasons. Or maybe they want the high bandwidth. Because in VPN, there is a limit. Okay, but nowadays it goes up to like 1 GB. Uh, but if what if they need more? Okay, because in site-to-site uh, -site or VPN or the gateway, it actually distributed. If you have multiple tunnels, it would be uh, distributed in between those tunnels. If you are also using point-to-site, it will be distributed between those. So, the ultimate thing is, let's try to draw a picture here, which would make more sense to us. Okay, so let's suppose this is how it is okay so there is a vpn connectivity but how this connectivity is this goes over the isp oh, i'm sorry internet okay it goes through the internet site to site or vnet to vnet or in connectivity but here we are talking about specifically site to site okay what if customer wants to have a connection where you don't go over the internet and they want to own that connection like their private connection okay that kind of connectivity is provided by azure same kind of connectivity is also provided by AWS. In Azure, we call it Express Route. Okay. But in AWS, it is called Direct Connect. Okay. So uh, let's try to understand the architecture first and then we'll deep dive. Uh, into different various aspect features of the express route okay so how exactly this thing is done let me try to explain you here so okay how should I explain it so this is our on-prem, this is our Azure, and we need a VPN gateway on the Azure side, okay? I'll try to explain it just like site to site or with reference to site to site so it would make more sense. Okay, to connect to site to site along with VPN gateway, we also needed a local network gateway, right? If you remember, which contains the information of on-prem. Similarly, we send the uh, configuration of this gateway or connection to this guy on the on-premises and they configure their VPN device okay so here in order to establish a private line okay in order to establish a private line they don't need local network gateway but they need something else they need, I need to make it a little further to make sense of it, a little further. They need a kind of uh, circuit. We call it express route circuit. Let me write this down here. They need an express route circuit. Okay which would be which would act like a local network gateway which would have the information of the uh, 
Microsoft Edge and the Partner Edge, more like the uh, Partner Edge information, because on-prem cannot dig line directly to the Azure. They need to contact someone that is called that is called Partner Edge. Partner Edge. Okay. So how things would go on-prem would talk to the partner edge all right and partner edge is talking to the microsoft edge okay here it is there is a microsoft edge ms edge let me make it a little further okay and MS Edge would have the connectivity in two ways. Again, let me delete this one and get the different arrow which would represent in, uh, in a way that I wanted because they need two kind of connectivity this one and there is one more azure public we can call it azure public services okay and you can call it azure private services or we call it okay we call it private peering or public peering it's a private peering or a public peering as the name says private peering for your your virtual network your instances and public peering for the public services like SQL or Office 365 and things like that. Okay, so now you can see if it, it started make sense to you. Okay on-premises can talk to azure virtual network or azure public services we can say uh, let me write this down here this would help us to make more sense i guess okay it is like office 365 uh, let me give some examples sql storage office 365 <clears throat> and here we have vnet vm and those kind of private things okay so on-prem will contact the partner edge and will inform about the creation of the circuit on their portal when you when we create the circuit on the portal after creating the virtual network gateway as a vpn type express route there would be certain information that we need to provide to the partner edge so that they would go ahead and provision these express route circuit okay it would take a time and once this is done you can see on the portal the provisioning is successful and you can create the connection just like site to site so express route circuit it will act like a local network gateway which would have the information okay so on-prem talk to partner edge to get the circuit running and partner edge will talk to ms edge from with the with the private line private lease line would be configured and connection would be created or peering would be created as per the need if you need private then you go to the private peering if you need public then you go for the public peering
Okay, now <clears throat> let's talk about some benefits of express route. The very first thing that we learned about the benefit is don't traffic don't go on public internet. Okay. It provide you greater security redundant density because there is always a two uh, tunnels primary and the secondary okay and we do provide the two subnet information okay uh, what else reliability of course that's private line for you reliability all right now Private peering always happens with the help of private IP addresses that you have in your virtual network. And public happens with the help of public IP addresses. Okay? And the thing is, we know we can only create one virtual network gateway inside a virtual network. But a VPN and Express Route, two different, can coexist but single a single VPN gateway a single express route gateway you cannot have two VPN or two express route okay that's the only exception otherwise you cannot create more than one gateway in your virtual network and uh, this expert route, route circuit for example you have one subscription here and you have another subscription somewhere else somewhere else okay don't my mouse is acting funny no problem let's suppose you have one more Azure subscription somewhere else so you can also utilize the same express route the same express route that we have here for the connectivity they are the settings there in the Azure for that You can opt for non-authorized and provide the security key and all information and you can utilize this for the other subscription as well. So in nutshell, what all you gotta do to create an express route, let's talk about those things. You gotta create the VPN gateway first, okay? That to type express route, okay? then you need to create uh, express route express route circuit which would have the information of your provider your ASN key and relevant factors that we'll see on the portal of course okay uh, then you gotta talk to your connectivity provider to ensure the express route circuit is provisioned because only then you can go ahead and create a connection now you gotta configure the express routing express route routing domains like peerings private or public we got a two kind right it used to be three but now it's two okay and once this all is done your express out would be up and running and you can utilize the private connection with microsoft azure from your on-premises <clears throat> okay so a little bit on the circuit if I missed express out circuit provides the secure connection between Azure and your connectivity provider associating the that connectivity with your virtual network requires VNet gateway see all the requirement that's what circuit is doing providing the connectivity okay I guess that's all about it. 
or let me check if we can create the gateway in this uh, video and we'll start working on the circuit in the next one of course I would not be able to show you the entire circuit but we can just show you about the gateway and the uh, circuit part all right let's start with the gateway and the circuit in the next video and uh, end this one here I'll be sharing the uh, few links of MS Docs because it is a huge uh, topic there's so many things to learn so if you want to have a deep dive you can go there but now you would have the idea like what express route is and what is required and how it's done uh, so thank you thanks for watching you have a good day bye bye